everybody. Thanks for joining us uh, here at the north end of the Burrard Bridge uh, to celebrate the full reopening of the Burrard Bridge. After years of construction and restoration, the whole bridge is open now for walking, cycling, and driving. And this has uh, been a multi-year effort, uh, tens of millions of taxpayer dollars to do this full renovation and refurbishing of the Burrard Bridge, which is uh, Maybe Grand Bank, Vancouver's grandest bridge uh, next to the Lions Gate. Uh, obviously an important part of our city and our city's history. This is a major feat of engineering work to upgrade uh, an 80-year-old bridge that, uh, that saw structural improvements in 2014 and then in 2016 the beginning of these larger scale uh, rehabilitations. So first of all, I want to recognize uh, we're on the unceded homelands of Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil the south end of the bridge is actually right on top of what was the village of Sanok, where uh, Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil people lived for thousands of years. So a uh, very significant place in the First Nations history of this place as well. Joined by Councillor Heather Deal here as well. Thanks, Heather, for joining us. And, uh, and many people who have poured their energy and hard work into restoring this bridge to a whole other level of uh, excellence. And I want to thank um, all of the city staff who've worked on this. So we're going to hear from Gary Dolbogoni, our chief engineer, in a minute here about more of the gory details of all of the bridge work and the water and sewer main work, the entire corridor of infrastructure being upgraded, uh, which is a, a once in several generations occasion. Uh, we also have a uh, big thanks to give to Shane Cook of Associated Engineering, who is the project lead. Where's Shane? Here, over Not here yet. Okay. James Emery, architectural details of the bridge, that's fencing, pedestrian lights. Uh, we're getting lots of good positive feedback on the incredible design work and architectural details uh, that have been added to the bridge. Donald Luxton is here, who is a uh, heritage consultant, who you will hear from shortly as well. Obviously, the, the heritage of this bridge is incredibly important. And I want to give a big thanks to Yosef Wasp, who uh, funded the Heritage Foundation uh, for the original lighting study and that was really the basis for a lot of the work that was done in uh, restoring the bridge and again to the many city staff who worked on this it's countless city staff but many who are here but uh, dozens and dozens more who worked over the last several years to make the Burrard Bridge uh, all new again so I know it's been frustrating for commuters we've had lots of uh, Lots of grumpy feedback for a couple of years as this big bridge restoration took place. I want to thank all the commuters, all, all the um, people who use the bridge for their patience uh, in getting through this long and intense construction period. The work is done now, so the, the bridge will be uh, even more functional than it has ever been before. The capacity of the bridge for cars uh, remains the same as it was before, and now we have uh, walking and bicycling infrastructure approved uh, for the bridge, making it safer, as well as the intersections on both sides uh, have been completely uh, transformed to be much safer. This intersection of Burrard and Pacific was the city's second highest crash location, so uh, a very dangerous intersection historically in Vancouver that has been transformed for uh, safety first, as was the, the intersection at Cornwall and Burrard on the south side uh, in 2014. So both of these intersections have seen uh, modern upgrades to improve safety. We've also now done the, the return of the walking uh, sidewalk on the east side of the bridge. So there's walking pedestrian sidewalks on both sides, protected bike lanes, and uh, the car lanes again. So everyone has uh, a safe route across the bridge. And, and perhaps uh, very importantly, the heritage uh, of this bridge was really central in the agenda here. We wanted to be sure that the upgrades integrated important protection of the heritage of the bridge and even enhancement of the bridge, which uh, Mr. Luxton will speak to in a few minutes. So with respect to the, uh, the lighting of the bridge, we have a few more days to work on that, but we're going to invite everyone back on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. to uh, turn on the lights, the new lights for this bridge, uh, which are uh, both a combination of the heritage and some new technology that will enable us uh, to make the bridge even more beautiful. So I just again want to thank uh, everyone who worked hard to make this possible. It's been uh, a long, arduous challenge uh, over 
four years really working on different elements uh, of the bridge. Jerry will get into those details, but uh, it's returned uh, to its former glory, and I would say even more so, uh, more functional than ever, more beautiful than ever, and I think worth the wait. So uh, welcome back, everyone, to your new Burrard Bridge. And with that, Donald Luxton to talk about the hair day, whatever happened. So this is a, a fantastic, fantastic event. Uh, when we first evaluated the bridge for the Vancouver Heritage Register in 1986, um, we scored it 95 out of 100, and the only reason it didn't get 100 out of 100 was because it was missing its original lights. I guess we're up to 100 today. Uh, this is a fantastic um, project uh, for many reasons. I'll speak briefly about why it's so important as a heritage project. Um, it's not often that we take this kind of care and attention in dealing with our historic infrastructure. Um, it's a challenge. Uh, we have many safety and uh, structural requirements, functional requirements to deal with, and it's often very difficult to recognize when a piece of historic infrastructure really needs to be conserved. In this case, the city was fully on board with understanding the heritage value of the bridge, with bringing back its missing elements, and with treating the entire bridge with great respect. Uh, this, for me, is a triumph. It's very rare that we are able to pull that off, to really have a supportive client, a great design team, and, and a really considered and thoughtful approach when we approach the heritage value of something as important as the Burrard Bridge. This was one of the great icons of Vancouver, built in, uh, in, in the middle of the Depression, really, as a make-work project. Uh, conceived in 1927, at the time that the city was being formed out of three separate municipalities, Vancouver, Point Grey, and South Vancouver, and as they came together as a city in 1929, the impetus was really to unite the city. We are a coastal city of water and neat bridges. We have been defined by those extraordinary efforts in building those bridges. And in the 1930s, we reached out both north and south with the Lionsgate Bridge and with the Burrard Bridge, and they are defining parts of our history. So today is a fantastic time to celebrate the history of this bridge, the history of the city of Vancouver, and the accomplishment of bringing this back to life. I'll mention just very briefly that um, the, the balustrades, the concrete balustrades on the bridge were um, a real challenge. We decided from day one that we needed to replicate them, put them back to the way they looked when the bridge opened in 1932. You'll remember that they looked kind of like they'd been sandblasted and kind of rough. That's not what they looked like originally. They deteriorated very badly. We went back to the original appearance and replicated it. We've lost the original pedestrian lights. They were so important a part of the original character of the bridge, so designed to be part of it. Uh, we've replicated those exactly. We have uh, repaired, um, we have rehabilitated, we have brought this bridge back to a strong, sturdy and handsome appearance. I appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, quintessential. We're so happy to be here today and I agree. as with the other two speakers I've got a number of thank yous to make. Um, we've had such tremendous cooperation from so many different groups, the entire heritage community and all the different um, agencies. Don, I think you mentioned that this was a pilot, and I'm, I'm really hoping this is the new paradigm, that these partnerships going forward, um, that we work together um, through the entire process so we can save some of these cherished features we have throughout the city. Many of them owned and maintained um, by, by the engineering department, and we need to keep working with all of our heritage partners uh, to maintain those going into the future. There have been so many staff involved, I'd like to single out two. Uh, Paul Storer, our manager of transportation design, and Dave Curry, our senior project manager, they took on this project. 
neither of whom had gray hair when we started. <laughs> and, uh, I did not. <laughs> I've always looked old, but uh, anyways, I just want to thank staff and Lon LeClaire and Terence Gollard and all the staff that worked on this project over the years. It was a, a major project. Uh, we keep thinking about the bike lanes, we keep talking about walking and, and uh, cycling, and how important that is in our community, and it is. We have over a million bike trips over the bridge each year now. We've seen tremendous growth. But most of this work was around just uh, re-establishing um, this wonderful old lady, the, the, the piece of infrastructure. The concrete had spalled, the, the steel was corroding, the electrical had rotted out, um, pieces that were missing. And so, you know, we really needed to get in and look after the bridge. I was asked, you know, now that it's been rehabilitated, how long will it last? Well, it will last forever if we continue to rehabilitate it and do maintenance on it. Uh, Roman aqueducts and architecture and Greek architecture is still out there. Ours can be maintained and, and last in the future as well. So that's all I really wanted to say because we've all been waiting long enough and I think we all want to get on with it and, uh, and uh, open the grid. So I think the three of us will now... Yeah. 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 Yeah.